Muhammad Ismail, CEO of Propnex, Singapore's largest homegrown real estate agency. Ask Ismail Gafor is a weekly segment whereby I will update you on the latest market trend and policies. Indeed, at the end of this video clip, you could always post your comment or queries, which I will select one or two of your concerns and address it in the coming weeks. Today, I'm just going to focus on executive condo income ceiling impact. Our Minister Corbyn Wan did interview and said there is an impending increase in the income ceiling for the purchase of BTO and as well as EC probably down the road somewhere in the month of August. Though it may be a bit early, I am just trying to forecast what are the impact and what are the opportunities that ECs provide by and large. To start with, in fact, the current income ceiling for anybody who wants to buy an EC is $12,000. Those household income, both of you, the husband and wife combined, if it exceeds $12,000, you will not be able to qualify to buy an EC. Then the big question here is, is EC worth investing? And I think there are tremendous advantages. Let's go step by step. First point here is this. The current guideline here is this. MSR refers to mortgage servicing ratio is now limited at 30%. At the moment, there are no indication of any changes to this policy. What does MSR mean? If a household income is $10,000 combined, you could only able to secure a loan quantum that the monthly installment does not exceed $3,000. 3000 being 30% of your $10,000 household income. Unlike for private property, the TDSR is 60%. In other words, someone who's earning $10,000, $12,000 or $15,000 would be able to take a greater amount of loan to buy a private property, but for EC, it is restrictive. Why is it so? To start with, this is to exercise greater prudence. And number two, somewhat because of the MSR, the developers are pricing ECs at a lower price. Let me give you an example. Just look at it. When we look at the average per square foot, similar product, comparable in terms of lifestyle. In fact, many of the ECs today come with an Olympic size swimming pool. It comes with a clubhouse, tennis court, basement car park, playing ground and all other things, barbecue pit, gym. In fact, it is comparable to a many mass market condo. But then you look at the entry level of the price and the average EC is about plus minus $800 in some of the outlying areas. The prices are even at $760, $770, $780 per square foot. While condo, hardly you find at $1,000, but they are, are available in the outlying areas, plus minus. And when you look at in a condominium, let's say in Jurong, the average price is going to be $1,002. While in Pongol and elsewhere, it could be 1000, 1050, and 1001. What is the greatest advantage I'm trying to highlight here is when you look at the price difference, you are entering the market at a huge discount of about 20 to 30 percent, depending on location. This is really a discount on the EC. In other words, put it this way as far as ECs are concerned, when you buy an EC, today and upon TOP, there's a minimum occupation period of five years. After five years, you would be able to sell your EC to a Singaporean or a PR, not foreigner. If you intend to sell to a foreigner, you will have to occupy there for a period of 10 years. And after 10 years, the EC that you have purchased is totally privatized as a condo that is next to you. Now, this is the interesting point. Put it this way. If a condo that was sold recently, say for $1,100 per square foot, and 10 years down the road, if how much would you expect this condo price to be? Even if I take an inflation of 3% over a period of 10 years is 30%, 30% it would be 1,004 to 1,005. Conservatively, even if we just take $1,400 is the price of this condo 10 years later, then the next question, what would be the price of the EC that you purchase it at $800 today, 
10 years later. Be the fact that both these products, I'm referring to this as an EC and this is as a condo. When these two products after 10 years are comparable, there's a huge upside for the capital appreciation because a person who's buying is going to enjoy the similar facility. For example, if we say the condo is 1,400 and your EC, even if you sell it at a discount of let's say 1,250 and you bought it at 800, for every per square foot, there is a capital appreciation of $450 times by the size. And if you have bought a thousand square foot, you have a capital appreciation of $450,000 or close to half a million. And I'm just giving you as in a rough guide. Will it exactly happen? In the past, many of the ECs that have been purchased or sold in many parts of Singapore, after 10 years, in fact, it has doubled or it has gone up by 80%. Simply because the greatest advantage of EC, one must first understand. Let me just put it into point form. It is a privilege only for Singaporeans. And indeed, it is sold at a lower price per square foot because of the current policies based on income ceiling being set at 12 and MSR being 30%. Therefore, the developers make small margin of profit and that's why you're entering at a discount and 10 years down the road, there's a greater upside of uh, opportunity for capital appreciation. When you look at it in the next couple of months, there are many ECs going to be launched in areas like Sembawang, Yishun, Chua Chukang, uh, and as well as uh, Fernwell, Sengkang, and many others are coming. Therefore, what I'm trying to say here is this, with the impending increment of income ceiling, and I think more people will qualify. In fact, indeed, right now, most of you who are already have qualified based on your below the 12,000 income or those impending increment, please take advantage as you, if you enter the market of an EC and looking at the long term, there are huge upside and potential. And this is a one-time opportunity and I would like you to speak to any of our PropNet salesperson as we are be able to help you in almost most of the ECs that are going to be launched for the rest of the year. Wish you all the very best. Happy investing in executive condominium, a, life, a lifestyle bits.